I'm going to give you the top reasons I think living in a minivan is the... So I'm going to give you the top 10 reasons why um, living in a minivan, either full-time or part-time, is all of that. Keep watching. I often get asked, what is the best van to live in? And in this video, I am going to share my experience living in a small van. Now, it's a very small van. It's a Honda Odyssey minivan that I converted to a camper van. And it's a no-build van. So a no-build van means simply means that you didn't build out the van. So all I have in my bed... All I have in my van is a bed and a table. That's all. A bed that I can lay comfortably on and a table. I have a let out folding bed in my no build van. Now, I'm going to give my personal opinion. A minivan is the best van to start out in. I've been in van life for coming up on three years or it might be three years. And this is my second minivan that I live in. And it's a small, I converted it to a small camper van. Now, there's no right or wrong. I'm just giving you the pros and cons of living in a van. And then I'll tell you my reasons why I think it's the best van to live in. But of course, you live out of the van with the earth being your playground. The seventh reason that I think living in a van is ideal is because it ain't really about the van. It is about the freedom that living in a van brings you. Living in a van, traveling, working, worshiping a van brings you a lot of freedom. Wherever you are, is that's your home. It's about the freedom. You don't think about it as, oh, I live in this small space and oh my God. No, you think about where am I going next? What place will be my living room next? Where will I go? What will be my backyard? I wake up in so many beautiful backyards sometimes. I mean, I'm not saying that every day is a sexy day and I'm not in a parking lot, but some days I wake up in the beach or the sunset is right behind me. Um, uh, there is a sunrise, there is a sunset, there's a campfire. Wherever you go is your, um, is your living room. So it's not even about the van. You can get out of this van. Think about if you went on vacation, which... I don't wake up to an alarm clock or a calendar, but think about the universe and you got you an Airbnb. How much time would you spend in that Airbnb or a hotel room? You would spend your time out doing things, right? That's what van life is. It's about spending your time out doing things. So the eighth reason is you have everything that they have in a larger van, in a minivan. You have a bed. You can make the bed as comfortable as you want. You have a kitchen. My stool serves as my kitchen. You have a dressing room. You have a reading room. You have a garden. You have a deck. Your deck is the park. Once you go to the park and you open the doors, you have everything. As far as cooking goes, I do have a butane stove. If you've been around this channel for a while, you know I do not use butane or propane in my van, but I can carry my butane stove and sometimes I do I take it with me on the road trip and I can cook just like everybody else cooks uh, my one friend that has a big blue she uh, has a stove a propane stove so even though her van is a big old van and it's a nice van too it's a beauty um, she cooks just like I do she cooks just like I do now I do have friends who have the ability to cook in their van well I should back up my friend who has the who, who has big blue she can cook in her van um she can cook in her van and she does cook in her van but um she also cooks outside when we're at a campground or something she cooks outside so I mean I know people who cook in a minivan I'm not gonna cook in a minivan but you can cook in a minivan Here's how I make my van home, my mini camper van cozy. I change out the blankets. Those are actually tiles. I change out the tiles every few weeks, just depending on whatever mood I, I'm in. Orange is my favorite color. So I usually change it to something or, orange. Although around the holidays, I'll do the holiday colors or whatever. I lost a bunch of my footage, so I had to put these pictures in. You see, I like to make it home, my cozy home with my books and my food and all of that. I like to really cozy it up. Now we're getting up. I'm going to have to stop this running in a minute and give y'all a special message about taking a joy route. Here it comes.
Oh, it's almost coming. I got to stop it just in time. I keep losing footage. I'm just being real. Where is my footage? Okay, let me stop this now. I'm Frankie. The channel is Joy Route, as in live your best life, whatever that means to you. For me, that means living full time in my mini camper van. I live in my van. I work in my van. I worship in my van. I chill in my van. I read in my van. I exercise in my van. I do everything in my van. I road trip. I take road trips. I am a nomad. I go different places. Occasionally you might catch me in an Airbnb or a hotel. Mostly you'll catch me at campgrounds. On this channel, I share my experience of living full time in a van. I share van tips and travel tips and tips to keep your energy in order. I'm an enterologist, which simply means one who studies energy. I also share tips on how I create and sell digital products every now and then. I'll make that type of video because people ask me how I can live in a van and travel and be on the road and also um, pay money toward getting a box of both. So that's the channel. I want to inspire you. I want to, if you're out there and you're not living your best life, whatever that means to you, I want to be a light. I want to inspire you to live your best life. Life is really short. It's too short not to create, too short not to use your imagination, too short not to build, not tear down, but not to build. Life is too short. So may I be a light unto you. I tell people, I am 80% my energy ratio. If y'all want to know why I'm about to choke. <clears throat> I believe in, ooh, I'm burning some sage and um, some good energy and uh, <clears throat> it's smoky. I had to close the window. I am in my storage. I am moving out of my storage. Um, My name I know. Okay, let me see. You see how golden and crisp our fish look? What y'all know about that? Andrea is out here. She ain't even playing. Look at this, y'all. We got some fish fry with a little Old Bay seasoning. Yeah, and you I said slap your salad. mama. She yeah. ate the salad already. And my my cucumbers and tomatoes, I just put them on back in the car. It ain't even no sense to doing that when you got fish like this, right? I do have some chili in here, which I don't really... My stomach going to be messed up. Look at that, y'all. Look at that pretty fish. And that look good. What do they know about this at the campground? Look at the campground. What y'all know about this at the campground? What y'all know about some fried fish? Golden brown. With the hot sauce. I know, and the mosquitoes. Don't, don't forget a tab of mosquitoes. What y'all know about that?